Guess what arrived in the mail? Yes, this is a uh, weird add-on for the PlayStation 1 called the Gamers Movie Card. I don't know if that's supposed to be Gamers. Haha, <laughs> XD. I'm like if you're a real gamer. Yeah, anyway. So, um, this is actually a Game Shark slash VCD player for the PS1. So you might see here, this is uh, there's a switch password that's for Game Shark codes. Just basically cheat codes if you're unaware of Game Shark. And uh, VCD, which if you don't know what VCD is, um, in countries in the Asia region, uh, like Indonesia and shit, instead of VHS, they mainly used VCDs, which came after it. Basically, they had movies split onto two discs. So, and they were in like 240p compressed quality. They didn't look great. Uh, VHS actually looks better and actually sounds better too. Um, but these were very popular in those sort of countries. I actually happen to have a few on me at the moment. This add-on does require the um, parallel port. So you'll need a PlayStation 7500 and below. Or I don't know. Here's one. The other thing this, this add-on will allow you to do is actually um, play burnt games. But it's one of those methods where you have to um, find like a spring or something to hold down the button and uh, you have to have the add-on plugged in the back. Yeah, basically you leave the lid open the entire time. Um, you, you load a real game such as this one, this is Mickey's Wild Adventure right here. Um, then you would actually put a CD burn in there, like you take it out while the lid's on, while this button is down. Uh, take it out, put in a new game, click start, and uh, yeah, then it would actually um, start your burn copy. Fortunately though, uh, this PlayStation here is mod chip, so you actually don't have to do anything. You can just stick, straight up stick a uh, VCD in there and it will just work fine. I'm just going to do a jump cut while I go get some. Here's an example of uh, by looks dinosaurs. I can't find disc one, I just found it lying around, heavily scratched. Looks like it's also, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, a bit of disc rock going on there. Anyway, here's another example. You got a bootleg Toy Story 2 on VCD, and uh, I found most of my VCDs I actually did have have a crack in it. It's unfortunate. I believe this 2 also has a crack in it. I can actually test this because the uh, PlayStation doesn't actually read this that fast. So yeah, anyway. It also has a nice sticker that's like this is gamers with uh, some Chinese text. Often VCDs also had Chinese text part of the video. Anyway, um, I'll go and demonstrate it. So first of all, um, you have to actually take the uh, case of this off, which can be a bit tricky. Yeah. Try not to break it. Yeah, there we go. So, put that on there. Oh, well, I noticed the uh, US models actually don't have a reversible plug, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, it's actually pretty tricky to get this in there. Um, but you really have to force the uh, one that plugs into the parallel port. Pretty hard too. But um, just try and be careful. Line it. I think that is good. All right, and uh, there you go. That's what it looks like with it on. Actually, one really good thing to note is it actually has uh, AV ports on the back of it. If you haven't already noticed. Um, this is good if you are using um, a light gun, for example, because on the early PS1s, uh, it would actually plug uh, the gun itself into the composite, and then you output the rest to the TV. So if you were on a later model, or pretty much any model except for the very first revision, you would have to get one of these adapters that actually like splits it like that, but also has a plug. I normally just use this so I can use any AV cable really, but uh, with this add-on plugged in, you don't have to do that. You can just directly plug it in. Alright, so when you boot it up with the uh, password option, uh, you get this neat little menu. Now mine's actually in English. Um, every video I've seen so far of this device has actually been some Chinese or something. I, I can't read it either way. One thing I should also note is uh, while using this add-on, at least for me, uh, it outputs it as NTSC. So if you're on a TV that does not support NTSC, or more specifically, a power PlayStation 1 using NTSC 4.43 MHz, I don't know, or uh, power 60, 
then it's not going to work. Fortunately, this TV here supports Power 60 and it also supports NTSC 4.43, so I'm just like, oh, no need to do the color mod on here. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. So, um, oh crap, I just realized I didn't even plug a controller in. Alrighty, so I've got a controller here. Um, start game just starts a game. Please stick in there. It actually instantly starts it, skipping the whole PlayStation logo. Second option here, start game with password, but we haven't actually picked a password at all. Yeah, oh, before I get to cheat code manager, there's memory card manager, um, which is basically what you expect. I haven't actually got any memory cards in there right now. Um, then there's also CD-ROM manager, which I find pretty interesting. You can actually browse the entire CD. Alrighty, I've just put a medieval disc in there, and look at that. It's come up with the STR files, and if I click circle, it'll say, do you want the movie or audio? And look at that. If I go back, I might want to play, for example, uh, this one. So that's what the CD ROM thing is for. Quite cool. Also, one weird thing is uh, on the controller, X is go back and circle is select. So it takes a little bit of time getting used to it. I've already gone used to it now. But let's go. I've, at the moment, I've got Mickey Mouse uh, or Mickey's Wild Adventure in there. So if I go to cheat code, I, I've put a few games on there. Most, I actually deleted most of the codes that was already on there when I got the unit. Um, plus they also had horrible misspellings on there. Like A Bug's Life, uh, for example, is called A Bug's Lift. And um, it had like in brackets US, I ended up renaming it to NPC and whatnot. Anyway, so uh, for example, I've put Bomberman World in here and Mickey's Wild Adventure. So I select that by pressing circle. Uh, by default, it ticks everything. Uh, for example, if I don't want invincibility, I can go on there, untick that, press X to go back. You can also add a new game. Um, so, for example, let's call a game, you get like an entire keyboard too, which I find really interesting. So, yep, for example, I'll save that. You can add a new code, and then from here, you just enter game shot codes. Just basically, type in the keyboard. Um, that's the name of the sheet you want. And here's how you enter the actual codes themselves. And turn off if you want it to start on, like, the moment you go on the cheat menu, do you want it to just be on by default? Normally this is always on on, but I don't usually want to put every single cheat on at once. Anyway. Um, so there you go, there's our random title we just made. Uh, if you press triangle, you can delete them, so I'll just do that. So if we select yes. Um, so yeah, we'll select the Mickey's Wild Adventure again. Yep, go back. And you'll notice on the bottom it's got Mickey's Wild Adventure on there. So if I start the game with the password, it'll say start, and it'll begin loading the game. Might just change the. Uh, this is a power game, so I'm gonna change the show speed to 50. There we go. Now it shouldn't flicker as much. Alright, here we go. Now, for example, uh, the cheats I put in was uh, infinite marbles and uh, infinite lives. And uh, just to confirm, definitely works. You may notice it goes nine for a split second. Oh yeah, not even meant to have marbles at the start of this bit, so... Yeah. Trying to play with one hand here. So yeah, if I just deliberately kill myself... Oh yeah, that's right. I can't be bothered to show you the lives. That's the cheat code feature, so it's actually just a game shark in that one. But if you go back under there... Oh, yeah, see that switch at the end? We'll take out the game. Okay. Yep. 
All right, and we'll put a copy of uh, Dinosaur on there. I'm uh, doing this in one hand in the viewfinder. Can't see what the hell I'm doing. All right, so at the end there, click the switch to VCD. It actually glows red. There we go. And we'll get this. Woo! Please wait. Game Oz, please wait. Yes. Can you see? And there we go. We're watching a movie on a PS1. If you press select, um, not sure what this is. I guess it's like if you want to change the movie, which we don't. You know, one of the buttons shows something. R1 seems to restart it. R2, stereo, main, sub. Okay. There was definitely a way you could actually um, bring up like a pause screen in that. There we go. We'll start. So yeah, you got fast forward. Uh, actually, I don't know what F and whatnot is. F. Circle. There we go. But yes, VCD on a PS1. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I guess that means go fast. Alrighty, so would I recommend this unit? Fucking definitely. Uh, especially the English version. Uh, I don't know if I would actually get like the uh, Chinese one where you can't actually read what the hell you're doing. But it's actually a lot cheaper I found than a Game Shark. They normally go from like, I don't know, 60 to 70 to 100 dollars sometimes on eBay. Um, this one, I found a couple box ones that was like 100 dollars. But the one I got, I paid $35 without a box, just in Australia. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. Basically a lot better than a Game Shark, I would say. Add on well worth your time despite being bootleggy.